Introducing the Gracie 1112. This instrument is an area-specific curette that can be used on the buccal, lingual, and mesial surfaces of posterior teeth. To find the correct working end, I'm going to hold the instrument so that the face is parallel to the ground and the toe is pointing towards me. If I look closely, I can see that one cutting edge is slanting towards the ground, which is already set at 70 degrees and is the correct working end. I can also find the correct working end by holding the instrument to the distal of the tooth that I'm going to scale. I can see that the V in the lower shank or that bend is pointing towards the distal, which is the correct working end. If I flip it to the opposite end, I can see that V now is pointing towards the mesial, which is not correct. So after you find the correct working end, I'm going to establish an intraoral fulcrum either on an incisal or occlusal surface. I have a modified pen grasp and good ergonomics. Since this instrument can be used on buccal, lingual, and mesial surfaces, I'm going to start by having the toe pointing towards that mesial. I'm going to insert with the back, close the face to the tooth, insert right at that distal line angle of tooth number 30, I'm going to adapt my toe third, which is one and two millimeters, and I'm going to use a wrist activation with short, controlled, overlapping, oblique strokes across that buccal surface. I am engaging my toe third using moderate lateral pressure overlapping my strokes, working my way across that buccal surface. Once I get closer to the mesial line angle, I'm going to roll the handle between my index and thumb, adjust my grasp, continue with short, controlled, vertical strokes, working my way into that mesial and proximal making sure I'm keeping that terminal shank parallel to the tooth surface. I'm going 51%, which is halfway into that mesial. I'm going to demonstrate on tooth number 29. I have a modified pen grasp, intraoral fulcrum. I'm going to insert the back, close the face to the tooth, right at the distal buccal line angle, adapt my toe third, now I'm going to use short controls, overlapping oblique strokes across the buccal surface. As I make my way towards that mesial line angle, I'm going to roll the handle between my index and thumb and adjust. Maintaining my modified pin grasp, I'm going to roll into the mesial, use short controlled overlapping vertical strokes, 51%. Once I complete all the posterior teeth, I'm going to go back with an horizontal stroke right at the distal buccal line angle. The reason for this is that this is a commonly missed area for calculus.